my name is Queenie and you are watching Casa ni Kenze. Hi guys, welcome to my favorite place on earth. Alam nyo na kung nasaan yan, sa akin pong bedroom. Dito po tayo ngayon mag-vlog kasi po nakapantulog na ako at saka wala pang makeup kasi naka-college na. Yung topic po natin, hindi po skincare tonight. Nag-segue lang po ako dahil hindi nga po naka-makeup. Nag-explain, ba? Diba? So bare skin, you always see me you know, with makeup on and makeup off. So, alam nyo na yung itsura ko. Wala na akong sikreto sa inyo. So, anyways, guys, sana naman dahil lahat na ng sikreto ata, binigay ko na sa inyo. Mag-subscribe naman kayo sa channel. At saka, i-share nyo naman yung videos after seeing it. Especially if you like it. And comment down below para may pag-usapan po tayo dito sa channel. Well, anyways, our topic is very exciting. As always, ba? Diba? Kasi ito po yung cellphone. Okay, 1999, that's when I first encountered a cell phone, which is the Ericsson, which is owned by my tita and it, and she's letting me borrow it. And then, um, I remember the next one was the Nokia. Can you recall? That's the beeping sound, right? When somebody texts you, and I believe that's the only beeping sound whenever somebody texts somebody na yung kanyang cellphone is Nokia. I remember back in the day, sa banko, sa land bank, lahat ng government worker, syempre, doon nagbabangko. And there was one time na nag-beep yung, yung message with a cell phone. Lahat sila nag-panic. Tinignan nila sa, sa ano nila, sa, sa, mga, sa mga bags nila or sa mga packets nila kung lalaki man. At saka, kasi isang, ring, isang tone na kasi. So, akala nila, isa sa kanila yung may ganun. And I was just you know, watching them, natawa lang ako, sabi ko, wow, this is gonna be a new sensation and a new addiction besides alcohol and, and sigarilyo sa mga matatanda or sa mga tao sa Pilipinas. And yes, how many years down the road? 20 years down the road, yun nga, ang cellphone is life. Hindi tayo pwedeng gumising sa umaga na walang cellphone. Hindi tayo pwedeng matulog na walang cellphone. Bakit nga ba na-addict ang mga tao sa cellphone? Pag-usapan po natin yan. O pinag-uusapan na nga natin right now. So, let's go down memory lane. Back in the days. Isang text lang ah. Nagpapanik na. Lalo pa kaya pag isang ringing tone lang. So, I'm glad afterwards, no, nag-innovate naman, no, nag-evolve yung cellphone from, uh, pa, uh, like, from those uh, screen lang ng number or text lang yung marireceive mo. Here comes the, uh, the uh, iPhone and the Samsung Galaxy and the other, alam ba yung tawag nun? Um, I forgot what is it called. Android pala, Android. Yung Android is yun, di ba? May screen na. And then you're gonna see pictures. Tapos na uso na yung Friendster. Tapos mayroon ng uh, Facebook. Naging Facebook. Tapos may Twitter. May anything pa. Um, Instagram and all that. So, lahat ng tao, grabe sa social media. Alam nyo ba na ang Pilipinas ay ang may pinakasuki sa buong mundo. We are called the text capital of the world, including the calls capital of the world. Kaya magandang negosyo ang cellphone, ang phone card, and all of the things that's needed. Kahit tripod, kahit yung, um, yung selfie stick, and all of that, na uso talaga. Tapos, um, Alam nyo ba na before matulog and bago gumising, nandun yung cellphone. O di kaya yung cellphone nasa gilid na ng bedside na nandun na. Pero alam nyo, may radiation yan. Maliit nga lang na level pero it's still not good if you keep charging it in front of, uh, of, um, you, know, of you when it's still charging and you're using it dahil yung radiation, it's as it's peak daw, kung low bat na siya or kakabukas mo pa lang. Kaya, ingat-ingat din tayo sa gadget or sa cellphone pag may time. Ano pa bang pag-uusapan natin? Okay, eto ha, health-wise. Dahil nga, yung cellphone natin, galing sa atin, pagising sa umaga, punta tayong bathroom, naka-cellphone, punta tayong uh, breakfast, naka-cellphone, Dinadala yung cellphone sa sasakyan, dinadala yung cellphone sa work, dinadala yung cellphone everywhere. Kaya please, utang na loob, isanitize nyo yung cellphone nyo. Kasi hindi nyo alam kung anong meron dyan. Siyempre, galing kang banyo, meron niyang e-coli, dadalhin mo din sa 
kainan mo. <laughs> Tapos, magkakamay ka, especially pag Filipino ka. O, anong mangyayari? Nagkaikolay ka, nagkasakit ka, hindi mo alam sa cellphone mo pala galing. So, kung adi ka sa cellphone mo, please do me a favor, kindly sanitize your cell phone every night as you go per day and the whole nine yards. So, yan na. Nasabi ko na yung point ko sa cellphone. At saka, alam mo ba, ngayon, pag nagda-dine out yung mga tao, ano, hindi na sila nag-uusap lahat kasi nakaganoon na lahat to. Busy sila. And it really takes the, uh, the, the conversation among families and friends na parang, you know, lahat na lang nakaganoon. But alam mo ba, etiquette daw, etiquette wise, when you are with people around uh, sa mga restaurants or, you know, family gathering, you're supposed to put your cell phone down. Pero walang etiquette, etiquette na la pag na gano, wala, gano na wala, para hindi mo na nga makakausap yung mga tao sa gadget lang nila. At saka kung minsan, andito ako sa kwarto, nandun si Melvin sa kabilang kwarto, o si Gabriel nandyan, nagtatawagan pa kami, hindi kaya nag-text kami, o di kaya nag-messenger kami, o di ba, hey, tech, ano, hindi mo na kailangan ng intercom sa bahay, just a text or a chat away, nandyan na ang mga messages. But for me, my advantages po at disadvantages, yung social media po, um, you really make sure na pinapagamit nyo po sa anak nyo, i-screen nyo po talaga na appropriate po for their age yung pinapanood nila. Uh, make sure there's no vulgar words or anything kasi tandaan nyo sa mata ng mga bata ang ginagawa ng matanda ay tama. So, makukorek nyo pa ba kung nandun na, ba diba? So, yun yung isang point na no? uh, the disadvantage ng cellphone. Yun nga, yung health reason, yung family time, at saka, yung advantage lang eh, y the world is getting smaller. You can communicate with your friends sa ah. Sa buong mundo, lalo na, di ba, nurses. Uh, some of my friends are in Ireland. Hi, Bing Bing. And some of them are in, um, you know, in London, in Australia, and uh, Manila, sa Pilipinas, sa Saudi. Hi, Ging Ging. <laughs> Ging Ging uh, Herosa Asoto. She is always um, um, trying to um, share my video. Salamat. Salamat very much, Ging. So, anyways, um, yun yung po, yung tawag ko sa mga best friends ko, mga nickname lahat yan. May mga nickname kami. That's how we call each other. Pag kasi too close na, di ba? Ganun. Ganun kami magtawagan. Well, anyways, um, we are, um, let's go back to the topic. <laughs> yun nga, the world is getting smaller and just a call away or that's just a text away. Yung mga friends ko na hindi ko nakita for, what, 20 something years or sa high school na 25 something years or more, nag nakikita mo lagi and you're always sharing your thoughts, your views, your lahat-lahat. Parang small world na, no? That's the advantage of it. And the advantage of it too is marami akong nalalaman sa YouTube na hindi ko alam. Dati naman, di ba? I told you before, I don't know how to cook. I've learned how to cook from using a phone card calling my mom and my titas how to make this and how to make that. Ngayon, nako, anything under the sun, you can search on YouTube for cooking. Dati rati kasi, 5 years, 6 years ago, iilan lang kaming mga nag- uh, nagko-cooking vlogs. Ngayon, nako, endless possibilities. Lahat ata may cooking vlog na. Kaya, hindi na kumikita yung cooking vlog dito. Kaya, I change my, ano, nagsasalita na ako ngayon directly to you. Or kuminsan yung mga daily vlogs namin about sa buhay-buhay namin. Um, so, ganun yung advantage no. Alam ba bang advantage? Um, Yep, uh, you don't have to spend a tons of money for a phone card or long distance call to call your family in the Philippines. See, yun nga, that you communicate with your friends and including na yung family doon. Tapos, <laughs> can I throw a joke? <laughs> Madali na din ngayon mag, ano, magparamdam na mag-PM lang na pautang naman. <laughs> or anything, you know, honestly, yung mga, mga kakilala ko. They planning to deactivate their ano, their account kasi dami daw pagbukas pa lang daw ng good morning, meron na mangungutang. Wag naman <laughs> kasi nasisira din yung modo ng ng beautiful morning nila. Um, you know, eh, okay lang namang magutangan, 'di ba? Mangutang pero have some decency naman ko minsan. Hindi yung pagbukas mo ng ng ano, may donation box na doon na parang kung minsan ayaw mo nang buksan yung Facebook mo or yung account mo. I mean, yeah, yun lang yung disadvantage kasi, you know, at saka lalo na, oh, let's talk about ano ah, Facebook. Okay, let's talk about Facebook. Um, sa Facebook kasi, ala, bidahan, di ba? Bidahan. You know, 
that's how it is. Tapos, um, nandun nga, yung nakapost na ganito, sasabihin mo, oh, yaman niya, sige, hiraman ko nga to, kasi wala akong pera ngayon. Tapos, pag hindi ka pinahiram, nagalit ka pa. Ay, nako. Ewan, I'm just, I'm just being honest here, ah. Yun talaga yung nangyayari. Kaya, uh, my brother, uh, one of my, um, one of my, um, brother's friend or something, yun talaga yung good morning niya sa akin last time, sabi niya. Eh, i uh, ano niya na yung Facebook niya kasi parang donation box na siya. Eh, syempre, pinaghihirapan din po dito yung pera sa ibang bansa. Hindi po na pinupulot lang para, you know, i-charity. It's okay to charity, but as long as the charity goes to the proper charity, okay? Alam mo naman ang buhay sa Pilipinas at saka ang buhay din dito. Kayod-kayod tayo. So, okay, change topic na sa next yan. Yung Facebook naman yung pag-uusapan natin next week. Masayang talakayan yan. Kaya, i-watch out nyo po. Okay, so tuloy-tuloy ang ligaya dito sa ano <laughs> sa casa ni Glenn. Say, Cooking and Lifestyle with Queenie. You're still with the Straight from the Heart Talk dito po sa casa ni Glenn. So, um, tapos ngayon, uh, yung cellphone, no? Ah, uh, yung anak ko. Ayaw pa ng mga mumurahing cellphone. Ayaw ng free na cellphone. Gusto niya kung anong meron kami, ganun din yung sa kanya. Kasi hindi daw magandang quality. Sinabihan ko talaga na, okay ka lang, do you have work to buy your own cellphone? At saka, ngayon lang po magkaka-cellphone yan. Kasi I never allowed him to have a cellphone because I know it's addicting and lahat ng mga kabalbalan nandyan sa cellphone, you know? The things that you don't know before, yung innocence ng mga bata, nakuha na. Hindi na, ano, alam na nila, ang dami nilang nalala pero in a way for me it's not healthy to over stimulation of the brain and over information it's too much yung yung proper age sana yung growth and development yung dapat sa mga bata and then of course yun nga yung cellphone naging social status na yan ano yung cellphone mo okay yun ba yung latest yun ba yung ano napapagastos yung mga tao ngayon kasi palit sila ng palit ng gadget utang na lol ako nga yung cellphone ko nga yun ko nga bumili ng bago may mga kilala akong mayayaman talaga ayaw talaga nilang bumili ng cellphone kasi it's a it's a waste of money why do you have to keep up ito na naman tayo keeping up with the trend keeping up with the Kardashians or the Joneses na kung ano yung uso ayun palit ka ng palit kaya kahit hindi mo kaya bilhin mo kasi para makiuso ka, peer pressure and all that. So, yun yung isa sa disadvantage. So, ano pa ba yung dapat natin pag-usapan sa cellphone? Yun lang, yun lang po. Tapos, pag-ingatan po yung cellphone kasi pag nasnatch po yan, ang mahal po niyan at bibili ka uli. Shout out sa kilala ko na laging nasasnatch yung cellphone niya. Sabi ko sa kanya mag-backpack siya para hindi mawala yung cellphone niya at saka wallet niya kasi everything that you know, that you lost is a money um, that's lost out of your hard work. Sayang, di ba? Uh, kaya pag-ingatan yung cellphone, dapat ilagay yan sa bag. Huwag yun iba display display para ano, lahat naman may cellphone. Okay lang yan kahit di brand new or hindi latest yung cellphone mo. Cellphone pa rin yan. Um, yung uh, sa akin ah, kahit ano man yung cellphone mo, as long as it serves its purpose, it takes you, it makes you call, it makes you text, it makes you view something, it doesn't have to be expensive. Social media has advantages and disadvantages. What's wrong about it is kung talagang nahook ka na at doon na lang yung buhay mo at wala ka nang ginagawa, half of your life or half of your day is spent on social media. Hindi po maganda. Ako kailangan ko mag-social media, obviously. Nagbablog ako, so, um, you know, you practice what you preach. <laughs> but, you know, I have to make sure it has limitations. And you know what the use of cell phone for is to communicate, not to separate family all around the globe. Thank you guys for watching Casa Niglense Cooking and Lifestyle with Queenie. I hope may nakuha tayo dito sa topic na cell phone. And that ends the vlog. Salamat po sa panunood. See you in the next episode of Casa Niglense Cooking and Lifestyle with Queenie. Bye!